Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer. So um, I came across an interview that uh, Daddy Freeze granted uh, Julius Agu. And in that interview, he kind of basically saying that he's coming back. For anyone that does not know Julius Agu, he would have been one of the top Nigerian comedians, you know, stand-up comedy, right? That's what he does. And he would have been one of the best and the top and the one of the first ones right for a while now he's not been anywhere to be found like he's not really been in the limelight and people have been wondering where he's he so in that interview he basically is saying that he's back and he's having a christmas program and all of that but um i think in the comment section that people were asking the questions and uh, that he freeze them was reading these questions and throwing them at him and uh, he confirmed that uh, he truly his health has not been very good and that uh, he said he was in the uk i ended up having a brain surgery and that he was in coma for three months or something like that and uh, all of that and then they asked him is it true or something about his marriage is it true that it's over they said yes that is true his marriage is over he said his wife left him that's what he said and before this right there's been stories before but i didn't cover it because it was just spreading around social media then but people were saying that the wife left him and they were like she left him because uh, he had a lot of girlfriends accusations allegations so it doesn't mean it's true so uh all of that and the thing was the, this from what they said right they said that the wife left him because she's like okay when he was okay he was doing well he was busy with several girlfriends and all of that and now that he's unwell he let his girlfriends come and look after him something like that that was what was going around then and uh, well basically he didn't say much he basically said that she's left him she said she doesn't want to marry me anymore something like that and that the freeze didn't dig any deeper now um as always this is how he said it right he didn't give details but it's possible if the wife should come out she may say something different maybe she has a different reason why she left he actually said that his children are in america so i'm thinking the wife is in america with his children bottom line is this okay did he do something that made the wife to leave him or did he not do anything she just woke up and said she no do again or whatever the truth is this when a marriage ends it is simply because one or both of them do no longer want to be together like if they want to be together they'll be together so definitely it is because one or both of them do no longer want to be together whatever their reasons may be and i always say it takes two people for a marriage to continue if one person says i don't do again there's nothing counseling is good whatever people may beg or whatever it is if they say they don't do again there is nothing the other person can do it takes two for the marriage to continue you know i will always say this nobody walks away from something they are still enjoying be it a man or a woman and because they are not enjoying it, it does not necessarily mean that the other person is no longer doing it right. It may be that for whatever reason, the person that wants to walk away has decided they want something different. You see, I'm just basically putting it out there that there are different angles to this. Okay, let me use them for example, right? If the wife say, you know, do it again, she must have a reason. The reason could be because, you know what? This is actually not the kind of man I would have loved to marry. I just realized it now. I don't want to marry anymore. Or... He is the kind of man I want to marry, but I, I'm not happy with this, that, that, that he has done. You know, I'm just giving random examples. At the end of the day, there must be a reason. You know, there's a saying that adults don't run for nothing. If you see an adult running, you see children can be running and they're playing. Hey, hey, hey they are whatever play. They are playing, they are running, they are this, they are... Because it's children. Children run and they play or whatever. If you see an adult running, is it that they are chasing something or something is chasing them? So adults don't run for no reason. The same way nobody walks away from a marriage for no reason. Their reason may not be good enough by your standard, another person's standard, but it, there is a reason why they personally walked away. Right? There's another saying as well that there's no, in my Igbo language, there's nobody you put sugar in their mouth that will spit it out. Basically saying that if something is nice, people will eat it. It's when it's not nice that they spit it out. Right? If something is sour or, you know, disgusting or whatever. So, if a man or a woman is walking away from a marriage or running away from a marriage, they are running to something or they are running from something. So, some people may say she has felt so big. He's no longer good enough. She now feels so big. Okay, if that's what you think. Maybe she is now going to go and find a big thing that is her level. You get my point? So, she is running to what she would love to have right or she's running away from what she has whichever one it is there must be a reason why she says she no do again doesn't mean she's evil we don't know 
she, we were not there. And I will come back and say what I always keep saying. And I will keep singing it. When people go their separate ways and they do it in peace, please let them be. I would never criticize a couple for going their separate ways. Never. What I would criticize is if they become violent against each other. They begin to hurt each other. They begin to, a lot of those things, oh, you know what I mean? That is where I would criticize that. Why did you walk away? That I would criticize that. Walk away. Do you know how many stories of marriages where somebody's life ended? Osinachi is gone. Recently, we heard about uh, Abimbola Obona. Not too long ago. Many stories like that. I remember many years ago, there was one they shared all over Facebook. Jushma was lying on the ground. If you see her, you would think she was having a nap. They posted her picture that time on Facebook. Because husband and wife were Allah. She, yeah, you go keep, I don't know how it happened though, but whatever. You know, typical, you go keep me today. They hold each other. They, big, 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 boom. It don't end. And then that's when we realize that it's always better to go their separate ways than hurt each other. I will keep coming back and saying this. Stigmatizing them for going their separate ways, I would never. If she say, Jilosago is no longer good enough for her. And she no put a tap pepper for inside in food. Let her be. You get my point? Or she say, that's what people are saying. He was unfaithful. I don't want to be with him anymore. Let me tell you. I'm just saying, you know, I didn't say that's what happened in their own case. But there are women that will stay in a marriage where there's unfaithfulness, there's this, there's that, there's that. And then until the thing can't reach them, they can't collect. STD. It will be another story. A friend of mine was sharing with me, a family member, that the husband brought, and this was a born again Christian. Who, any time God will change my husband. And the husband was unfaithful. She kept on praying, praying, praying. She prayed, oh, yet the man still brought HIV, gave her. The both of them are gone. A friend of mine, she's a nurse, told me this story. Wouldn't that be better if that woman ended the marriage and just go her separate way? She at least, even if the HIV, the man carry, collect HIV, she go there alive and raise her children. At least, if she had walked away. But now the children lost both parents. So there are many branches. You know, when, when they say a story, the man will say, oh, Momo. If, if a story carry picky for back, as in, there's more. When it comes to divorce, there's more to it. Because now, like I said, nobody knows what the story is. Before you know it, it becomes a story of, oh, the wife just left him. All I'm saying, nobody just leaves. To be honest, I'm trying to remember how that story went. I decided to search for it. This is it. Just lover. This is, it says, Julius Agu's wife allegedly moved on with another man. I didn't even know there was another man. Well, that's the thing, the story then. No. Abandoned him on sick bed due to plenty side cheek. That's the story then. Now, just lover who traced the cause of the marriage crash to Julius Agu's promiscuous lifestyle during his hey days revealed that his estranged wife is of the opinion that his side chicks should take care of him as they were the ones that squandered his riches when he was very much active in the industry so you see that's the backstory that's what they said though me i don't know because he, he didn't give details of what he said so uh basically this is how i feel about it like i said in that interview he didn't say much as to what happened or whatever but my area that i want to keep coming back and hammering on is it's always better to go their separate ways than to end each other's lives that is i will always keep coming back and saying it and the reason i say it i've shared my story i grew up in a home where there was domestic violence it is not a pretty sight i do not wish it on any child thank god my parents survived it and they later they went their separate ways and came back together 10 years later but then they came back together they were too old to fight but at least if my parents had stayed together at least one of them would have lost their lives you get my point so this is why when it comes to story i want to use that my story of my parents I always use it to remind people Go your separate ways than end each other's lives. That's how I personally feel about it. And um, this is my opinion. As always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.